A couple of weeks ago, we had a look at the Kuga Aqua 120 all-in-one water cooler. The issue with that video was that I had to compare it with a bunch of air coolers, which is fine, but not having any other water cooler in the mix made a comparison pretty hard. So for today, we will enlarge the collection we have in here with another budget-oriented all-in-one liquid cooler, the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML120 LV2 RGB. Before we get to opening that thing, today I will recreate the test we did with the Aqua 120 by hitting a CPU as hard as I can and just see how much the ML120L can cool it down and then see how slowly I can make the fan spin until the CPU stays at a stable 70 degrees Celsius. At that point I can just compare the numbers and we will see who is the winner of today's battle, the Master Liquid ML120L RGB or the Cougar Aqua 120. So while I'm opening this, features. The Master Liquid ML, when then a number, LV2 series comes in a 240 and a 120 variant, which is the one I have here, and they can be used for up to AM4 on AMD and 2066 or 2011 on Intel side. The all aluminum radiator is cooled by a Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120 fan pushing about 62 CFM at 1800 RPM while blowing with 27 dB. So comparing the raw numbers, the ML120 should, from a cooling standpoint, perform worse but a lot quieter. There is not much information on the pump, but the packaging states that it should not be louder than 10 dB. But there is absolutely no information on the Kuga, so we will see that later while comparing them. Now something that is apparent immediately is the tube length. It's not extremely long, shouldn't be too short, but having the Aqua 120 next to it, yeah, this will definitely not go in front of a big case. Coming to the connectivity and RGB, and they did a pretty good job with that. The pump is powered by a 3-pin fan header, while the fan is being powered by a 4-pin PVM header. In the bag of goodies, we will find this 123 RGB splitter, which can be hooked up to the pump and then to the fan, and then either to a 4-pin RGB header on the mainboard, or you can use this little controller, which can control all of the RGB from now on with a Molex as power delivery. You may notice that there is now an additional RGB header left on the splitter and that is because there are variants which consist of two of those signal flow fans or probably because it's cheaper to manufacture what's better for everybody but at the end you can always use it to power some RGB strip so that's something positive. So that should be it at this point so let's get the test bench and see how it performs. Okay, so yesterday I did all the testing on the test bench and inside of the case and after finishing the video with a script talking about a lack of performance I realized that I forgot about the overclock from the 1K PC. So naturally I returned today, read it all the testing, read it all the testing again just in case and now let's see how it performs. On the test bench, we hit the CPU with everything we've got and the ML120 kept it at 67 degrees Celsius with 50% fan speed. On 100% fan speed, it managed to cool it down a bit to 65 degrees. Now, if we take a look at the table, these numbers are exactly the same as for the Aqua 120. But them having the exact same numbers does not necessarily mean that they will perform identically inside of a case. And that is wrong. While hitting the CPU, we managed to keep it at 70 degrees Celsius while keeping the fan spinning at 40% fan speed, which is exactly the same as we did with the Aqua 120. So, where does this leave us? Well, both water coolers are performing exactly the same, but that is not all there is. 
because the fans on the Cooler Master are running at max 1800 RPM, while the ones on the Cougar are rated for 2000 RPM. Which basically means that at 40% fan speed, there should be a almost 100 RPM difference, making the ML120 even quieter. And even more important, the max output noise level on the ML120 is said to be underneath 27 dB, while the Aqua 120 should be beneath 35, meaning that there should be an immense difference in sound level. And there actually is. Listen. So to sum up the performance comparison, in raw cooling capacity there is absolutely no difference between the two models. But if we take the output noise level into account, the ML120 is far more superior than the Aqua 120. Which makes it even more impressive because the fans are spinning about 10% slower. So this round clearly goes to the master liquid. On the features and looks side, both solutions offer the same thing. Compatibility with every relevant platform, RGB on board, software RGB, a big copper plate and some sort of RGB controlling interface in case there is no header. But the ML120 includes a fan with RGB and a RGB splitter which may be handy for other devices. The Aqua 120 on the other hand has much longer tubes but that is also something you may not even want, because who puts a 120 red in the front anyways? So this round is a draw and it basically ends up with what design do you prefer? The Cougar or the Cooler Master logo? Me personally, I would rather tend to use the ML120L because of the subtle use of the logo on the border block, the fan RGB and because the whole thing just feels more massive because of the lack of any acrylic. But that's really up to you. On the price side, it gets a bit complicated, as in the US, both all-in-ones are listed for $69 on Newegg, while in the EU, the Kuga tends to be a couple of euros more expensive, at something around 54 compared to 52 for the M120. So to sum everything up, the features are somewhat the same. The price is somewhat the same and the performance is somewhat the same. The only real difference is that the M0120 is way more efficient, making it the clear winner in this comparison. But before we wrap this up, the B-roll should not go to waste. So to wrap this up, if you're interested I will leave the manufacturing links and maybe some affiliate links if I can find any in the description below. But if you like the video, don't forget to leave some feedback with a thumb up or thumb down and maybe you can tell me your opinion or proposed product in the comment section below. I hope to have you back on the next time, but until then, have a look at one of these totally random videos. See ya!